That long crossing and a P250 on Blame F. Um, always good to be taking fights and challenging. And it looks like they do want to run, at least for a little while, for long. Not going full speed at it. Waiting for the flashbang to set it up. And Electronic is in that corner and he could be in a really weird spot if if Boomich gets smoked off up here. That could be really weird. Yeah, this is, uh, well, I mean, it is Electronic. He's very precise. Pop Flash comes in and... Ooh, that's a good find. He's dropped immediately. And now here comes the hit towards the bomb site. Boomich over the top of the smoke is gonna find some damage, but no kills yet for Navi. They're in a retake scenario. Simple waiting up by that Gandalf box just for a little bit of a swing bomb being... Oh, and no one's checking it. They didn't even know. I thought they were planting on the other side. That could be a big mistake. Boomich goes down to the meantime, though, and they take care of Simple. And now those USPs, but they're sort of running out of firepower here. It's a two on four, and they're going to get shut down. P250 on Blame F will do a lot of work in the round already with a double kill. And Flamey is just trying to fall back away from the fight. I know, but won't let him. That's a good recovery from complexity after being a little bit shocked by Simple. Yeah, he, he was a big surprise that come out there. It's a good thing they just went straight up one for one with him. Didn't let that kind of danger continue. Great reaction from Poison there for the opening kill. Good job all around. Pistol round goes to complexity on this T side, and they're going to continue the attack. Two MAC-10s, two AK-47s, a scout on Poison, and it's a full investment from the defense as well. Simple's got his scout also. It's it's a good start for complexity, but I don't wanna I don't wanna start the celebrations early. I wanna see them make it through this next run. Then then we'll get to it. Then we'll order the champagne and all the rest of it. But they gotta make it through the scout and the and the deagles here. Scout in the middle, a little bit of a setup, config. Can't believe he didn't even get tagged in that. Looked like there was plenty of time. He's making an escape from the deagle as well. He is lucky to be alive. Finally he will go down, but still, that's that's good enough for that mid-fight. Yeah, but nobody from Complexity is there, is, is there to guard the AK-47. No one's there to pick it up after it's gone down, so Electronic has that in hand. Oboe's gonna come up catwalk, so at least Electronic is trapped for the moment. But if he... A couple of nice shots here. There's the first. This is why it's dangerous. Rush is at low HP and he's gotta hide. So low HP and a scout inside the bomb site. It's not an ideal scenario, but Oboe saves the day. It's a pretty wild spray coming out uh, from that AK versus the MAC-10. But he only really could hit a headshot there, and it's not necessarily easy to do. So they will live for the round, even if they give the AK-47. And it will be another round here where now we don't have really that much to fight with. Boomich buying a single smoke. I wonder what for. Is it just for the cross in the middle? Yeah, so they're all going to run long. Just just faking it out, hoping. I don't, I don't, I don't think this would work. Even if they went long, what, what are they going to do? I don't know if you if, if you know get a lucky headshot with that P250 on simple, able to clean some things up with the USB. Yeah, I mean it's very low percentage, right? Let's let's not you know make things up, but there's still some danger to it. You I think more than anything that smoke is just <clears throat> yeah. You started to tell that story and then you lost faith in it yourself along the way, Jason. I like that. I mean, I was just trying to you know outline you know maybe the one the one circumstance, the one outcome that could have been deadly. Complexity. I think more than anything, that smoke is just consistency. You know, throw it every single round. Make sure complexity see it every single round. You know, any any information you can master Leon is is a benefit, no matter how small. Complexity is just going to walk out mid. They'll find it free. They'll find it open. And certainly from here, you just kind of execute an attack onto that B bomb site. And uh, yeah. So, what do you have for breakfast today, Anders? I had, um... Let me guess. Cheese? Yeah. Eggs? Yeah. Avocado? Yeah. And some coconut oil on top of all of it. That's it. Um... You've, uh... Yeah. I've perfected it. It's the kind of breakfast what? you eat it and you, and you feel like I'm, I maybe I shouldn't just eat anything else today. So, you know. Fair play. Okay. Nice. Yeah, it's what kind of though. eggs? Sunny side up? Um, dippy eggs? We talking scrambled eggs? Yeah, I just scramble. Poached. I just make like a little egg omelette. I put the cheese on top and then like I flip it around on top of the cheese. So you get like that grilled cheese effect. Uh, it's, all, okay. it's like a whole art. Like I'm, I'm improving it all the time. I've become pretty good at it. But I, you know, could add little details to it, like a little pepper if you want, like a little red pepper. It's, just, it's, it's, it's a 
real work in progress. Wow, Pepper, you really treated yourself this morning. Yeah, I know. It's um, <laughs> this is exciting, you know. I never know what could come out of it. <laughs> All right, first gun round underway. AWP on simple. M4 is picked up around it. No kits uh, quite yet for the Navi side. Boomich can buy one, but he's not going to. He goes for two flashes instead. Wow, okay. So looking to make this not a round where the bomb even goes down. Check in, I mean, some confidence maybe. Rush gonna be putting out the smoke and just jumping right around the corner. They could catch Flamey if they keep going. He's kind of stuck over by that car, which is really uncomfortable. Let's see if they want to use a bunch of grenades to try and get rid of it. I don't know if, you know if they know that he's there yet, but if they do, could definitely uh, Molotov him out of that position. There's one attempt, gets put out. That does kind of confirm that he's there, though. Yeah, a little bit. Flamey just lying in wait. And we see that we see that smoke faked once in a while, though, right? If that Molotov is thrown and no one's there, someone can throw that smoke. Use the utility to kind of throw some kind of a fake to your opponents. Regardless, the important factor is that Flamey gets out safely. But that's valuable utility to get him into a safe position. He's going to have to go up towards Catwalk where Electronic is waiting. Boomich playing at Elevator. So this defense is going to be at range. And it's going to be hard to stop this cross. Here come the smokes. Wall is set up. Good angle for the spam. And he's found Oboe who stopped to take the fight. Yeah, that's actually so much damage. And once again... This time it's Flamey playing by that box. Last time it was simple. No one's covering it if Flamey swings for it. That's going to be a free kill. Now it'll happen after the bomb goes down, but with the health that's on config, this is really not ideal. Blame F here with the flank, but he might be too late. Even if he gets this kill, I don't know if it's going to make any difference. Now it actually definitely won't. All he could do is maybe give away the AK-47. Oh, when he doesn't get that straight away. So now he's about to get shot in the back. It'll be perfect though to take him down. And that's a flawless round out of Navi. Nobody goes down. Oh dear. Yeah, that, that couldn't have gone worse if you're if your complexity. All that space over towards long, Navi just played perfectly. Nice spray down from Boomich right through the smoke. Obo doesn't need to stop for this fight, and he's feeling very frisky. And obviously, this is the second time we have seen them fail to clear that box. I don't believe they had a Molotov for it. They did have one, but it was on Blame F in middle. Yeah, but that's it's worth keeping in mind. I mean, it's twice it's happened, and... We'd hate to see it happen a third time, so hopefully we won't have to. Complexity though with the bomb plant and the three rounds they can buy, and even in the next round if they get the bomb plant, I think they're still good to go. So, got something to work with here. Nice aggression, and Obo, he will almost lose that fight, but not quite. Simple getting one and the cross, and trying to see if he can shoot them through the door, which is uh, not a bad idea given how low on health they are, the grenade. Only do a little bit of damage on a config. He's hiding from the flames as his team is about to show up. But Blame F is in the middle and he's already got a kill. So while they're thinking about if they even want to retake, they have to worry about whether or not they're going to run into Blame F somewhere. Yeah, someone needs to clear him out. And this is taking way too much time. Boomich going to back away from that fight. And Navi have to save. Yeah. They can't comfortably... I mean, even going for a retake of Blame F wasn't here was going to be difficult. But certainly with this presence on Catwalk, the possibility of a flank coming in at any moment. And Navi don't want to mess with it. Now, backing off. Remember, they survived the previous round that they won with five players alive. So there's going to be plenty of cash to drop weapons over. Flamey can drop one. Perfecto might be even be able to buy something of his own. So Navi's going to have another strong buy in the next round, but a good hit for Complexity. Up to four rounds on their T-side attack. I mean, this is this is an ugly start for, uh, for both sides, really, but that one opening is enough, even if the trade is there right afterwards, and such is kind of the nature of the B-bomb side. At least for a minute here, until the doors swap back once we start playing on that version, it'll be... It'll be interesting to see what kind of uh, an effect Simple would have had in that mid-position. We'll see. I think that's going to be a whole new nightmare. If yeah. With, simple with the AWP. I mean, there's going to be a lot of players that make that a whole new nightmare. And I think the, the fun thing about it is it kind of, I feel like, um, we've, we've seen it. I think it's just going to make oppers more comfortable to play. I think you're going to see a lot less defenders actually in the B bomb site. Maybe a, a rifle close up to the double doors with an opper in the middle. That'll, that seems to be like it'll probably be the standard defense. But that ability to just kind of turn around and spin towards the B bomb site is going to be really, really fun. Oh, by the way, it's also going to be cool for the T side if you can get into the B bomb site and peek through those double doors and actually hold it so you don't have to smoke it off every single time. 
Yeah, it definitely works both ways. Kind of look forward to it. A lot of grenades on Perfecto landing over here. He's going to be up on the box, but he did uh, get dropped down to 45. Simple outside looking into the middle with that AWP, but... Oh, they're hoping for someone to go peek, but they're not going to find anyone, so... A little bit of time is going to be wasted early on here, which is which is not a big problem really for complexity. Will be a big problem for Navi if they if they let go of this round. Then I feel like the memory of that nuke game is going to be just a fading one for complexity, and they'll start to get warmed up into this game a bit. Well, remember, I mean, we, we mentioned it a couple times, you know, in the later stages of that T side on Nuke, they started looking really good. The game plan started really clicking and working very well. The desk also said that the game plan was quite nice. So you have to imagine, as long as they're not getting destroyed by simple or losing every single clutch in the game, they can put together a very effective attack here on Dust2. All five players shifted to this long cave, and Rush is going to lead the way out. Flashbang off the wall, follow-up flashes as well. Boomich catches one, and the trajectory gives away his position, and he's got nobody close by. It's all up to his own flashes, and he's got one. Now he can sink deeper into the pit. A little bit more damage, but a big trade for Mobo. It's a nice take of that pit area, but Flamey is really there, quickly there with the flank coming through and the rest of them are holding over by CT spawn and I think one of them up on catwalk so could be really dangerous oh they're looking for it and flaming I don't know <laughs> he's not he's supposed to be going once the attack on A is actually happening I feel like he's way way too early I, he's he's maybe he's maybe way too early based oh my god what a wipeout jeez he's he might be a little bit early but it's I don't know I feel like it's hard to judge him in that position because he might be early in terms of the contact that's happening on the map but definitely in terms of the round timer he's not early at all you know he's turning that corner what with like 25 seconds on the clock yeah and blame f is still just there waiting or 20 seconds like you're thinking at that point everyone's going to be attacking towards the bomb site maybe one person at the corner but you're definitely not expecting him blame f to be in that position wide open Good return as well from Rush. We'll give them a two for one trade. They did also hear that AWV on Simples. So that's a bit of a warning sign to them. They're all here, and I mean, they have enough grenades to make it hard for Simples. He's all the way down the middle anyway, but if they go for it and get the bomb plant down, there's not going to be any threat from that AWV or anyone else, really. Man, that was a strange round. Even at the end in that two on four. There was about eight seconds when the bomb was being planted, and there was a guy right next to the to the actual site. I was a bit worried for any kind of jumping nonsense going on. Jumping nonsense. Ooh, Molotov forces them into the open. There, you gotta be pretty certain they're gonna Molotov that corner box. Flamey's there again. Simple's gone down. Great transfer from Config. Alp is picked up and recovered, and a triple kill to close out the round. Six to one for complexity. They're off and running. Yeah, things have started to look really, really good, and especially getting that AWP away from them. What a devastating loss in a round where you'd actually uh, hoped a lot for that to have some more impact. They're going to have another one in this round, and I think that's, you know, that's a little bit of a bonus to now VI, I suppose. Still not anywhere near the double orb territory, which again on Dust2 is kind of a classic way to deal with being behind Rush, waiting for the Molotov, putting it right out and running through his own smoke. Perfecto getting shot down, great opening, and Rush almost winning the round, just getting these two kills. That is huge. That's fearless, and Navi have a real issue. This is three rounds straight that Complexity has shown they can take long and exploit that map control, and it leads to round wins. And Long is such a critical part of the map for Dust2. Blame F, as we know, off on his own in middle, watching the flank, waiting for his moment to pounce and go for the lurk. It's simple. It's all on his shoulders. Up on Catwalk with that op. That spam, this time Ovo wins it. And Simple might have to start thinking about falling away, but Blame F is there to catch him. Let's see if they can actually get this AWP away from Simple. Blame F is in the middle. Could be catching Simple as he's waiting around on Catwalk. I don't think they even know yet. Doesn't even matter. Oh what a headshot. God. Oh, God. This complexity team has absolutely come alive. Rush and Oboe in this round. The headshots from these AKs are just they're instantaneous. Look at the kills on Navi. The most is Boomich on four. And then it's two on everyone else except Perfecto on one. 
Yeah, they're they're starting out the same way complexity started on nuke. Not not even any fragging production. Even if you have some cool calls, even if you have some advantages, if the kills aren't coming, it, it really doesn't matter. So Navi's gonna need somebody to pick up the energy. Maybe they're all yelling, as we heard in their team speak. Maybe they're all freaking out. They could they could very well all be yelling at the moment. Maybe maybe a bit of yelling before it all goes dead quiet here. Because I don't know what what's left to say at this point. Seven one, they are they're really getting banged out on dust too, which is exciting. It's Mirage is the third map. I don't know what what I was expecting. It's not that I thought dust two would absolutely be Navi's map just because they picked it, but I was expecting something different than this at any rate. I mean, after we saw the simple on news, we we're like, oh god, if that's the simple that's going to show up today, there, there's an issue. But he's not even getting a chance. And I think part of the reason why he's getting so neutralized is because complexity's emphasis on long. Remember, simple's being very mobile with the AWP towards middle, towards catwalk. When they attack long, you know, he's not even really able to have the impact until his teammates have already gone down. So this has just been a, a really well called half, I think, from complexity so far with a six round lead. Dropping out towards middle. Four players going to attack. Big trade for Poison. One player left to take over that B-bomb site. It's Perfecto. And he just wants to stay hidden back here. Wait for his time. It's only 30 seconds left, so if he could have stayed alive even a few seconds longer, it would have been interesting, but still, he did a pretty good job now. Simple. Wall almost walking through the smoke. He's just going to try for the wall bang, but Rush is there. Sweet. To secure the round. Yes. Yeah. That's a little bit close. <laughs> He brought poison down to one HP. If he gets that kill, and it's, I mean, it's simple, right? You you know he's got a chance. If Rush isn't peeking that window, almost an opportunity for him. 8 to 1. Man. There's only 14 kills across the board for everyone at Navi combined. Just no fragging production coming out. Good flashes out long. Config has somehow found some safety for a moment on top of the barrel. It eventually heats up and burns. And here's... Here's an interesting scenario for complexity. All three members dedicated out towards long. You have no presence in mid, no presence anywhere else on the map. But there's plenty of time on the clock. It feels like you either need to back off and start taking map control towards mid or start having presence there. Or you kind of need to press the envelope relatively quickly because you don't know what's happening anywhere else. They could be pushing up or dark. They could already be in T-spawn. You're already boxed in. It's just a question of how fast you want to make this play happen. Big price to pay, to pay if you have to go back through middle and upper dark to, to check all that out. I mean, the, the time no that that'll take you. Yeah, you're right. That's an, maybe an even worse problem is having to cross this whole midsection without being able to throw the right smoke. Spoonwich has found maybe an interesting angle. He's waiting for a flashbang. He's going to get it there. We'll turn around and spray right over. That he is deadly. Even just the one-on-one -on -one trade there is still really good. Simple, trying to look over the box to find whoever he can. 40 seconds now and waiting for that bomb plant to go through. Poison is going to be the one to put it down while Blamef is out in the open covering him. A good grenade landing on both of them, in fact. And they should be losing this round. But Poison Ooh. doing his best to make sure that doesn't happen. Could he get Simple as well? He's slowly leaking into war. Simple knows it. And that is a lot of patience for Simple to pick up that kill. I usually don't see Simple being that passive, but it was the right play. Yeah, with the AWP as well, just waiting for that slide in. Well, he knows also that it's it's their turn to make a move, and you also have to have some trust in Perfecto, your teammate. You could see when it's a three on two, simple the, the lone player on defense is being passive to let the two players begin that retake. But when it's down, you just kind of have to trust that Perfecto is going to be able to do something, because when both players of complexity are trapped in the bomb site, you know their first priority after the bomb plant is to get out of the site. If you sit there, you're in a lot of trouble. And Simple knows that, and he's just waiting for the slide into his crosshair. Double up setup picked up for Navi, and they're going to look to make a comeback of their own. The first half on Nuke was 10-5, and those five rounds really weren't enough for Complexity to, to do much of anything. So, see if Navi could get past the five-round mark here at the first half, at the very least, for a little bit more of a foundation to build something on. Config sneaking in, and oh, I can't believe he, he almost stutter-stepped his way out of death. But Simple will re-peak it and take him down anyway. Well, three players in upper dark, and the bomb is going to rotate back around through T-spawn. So Perfecto is going to get some attention. 
He's got help. He's got Boomich in the sight. He's got Simple with that AWP already cheating wow. over, just crossed by mid. So this hit is figured out already. And Complexity better have a knockout punch in these initial battles, or they're going to get stuck without any access. Simple's arrived. And they are going to be shut down. No chance to even get out of the choke point. Flames in their way. Nice shot from Poison as Perfecto drops into an easy kill. But a third round for Navi. They've been trying for a while to get that triple boost looking over the smoke into the, the B plateau, and they don't really get rewarded for it. But I'm kind of curious, even if they had got rewarded, then the bomb was one rush all the way across the map. Seemed Maybe they would have just had the pick off and gone somewhere else. Either way, as you said, a third round for Navi. Still the double up set up in play. They're going to go for the boost on Catwalk with Electronic being up there quickly and out the middle. They could be going for it right away. Simple is going to miss a single shot. A lot of people on the other side. He misses one more time. They really don't want to fight him. They're going to smoke him off instead. And now they're going to see if they can crunch this bomb site. Perfecto on his own. Oh, Simple. He actually got a kill right through the smoke. And Perfecto, if he can stay alive, maybe get a kill. There's a headshot, and that might be the round. They still could have maybe lost it, even with the success in the middle. But Perfecto doing an amazing job in here with a double kill of his own. And in the end... It's just going to be Perfecto going down here as Config. is in a one versus four. Shot in the back by Boomage. That's a dangerous round. Man, what a... I mean, that's, that's heartbreaking for Complexity. Your strategy just gets straight up demolished just by some lucky kills. Electronic spamming through smoke. Simple through the smoke as well. That's the entire middle portion of the attack. That is supposed to help you take that B bomb site, just gets thinned out by half. The third player sticks around as well to make sure no one's jumping through. That is a that is a brutal way to lose a round for complexity. Still, they had so much money built up, they can buy again. A little bit of spam coming through the door. Boomich only taking nine points of damage. So it'll be fine. They're already centered around the middle right now for complexity. I, I really like that fast mid to B uh, attack. And I think, you know, if not for simple getting that shot through and perfecto getting a double kill, that's that's probably around where they at least have a bomb plant and a decent chance of fighting for an after plant. So complexity might want to revisit well, that at some point. That's what makes it so heartbreaking. If Electronic doesn't get a spam and, Sickle, and Simple doesn't get a spam through the smoke, if those two kills don't happen just by blind luck, then there's no chance Perfecto gets a double kill because you have enough players coming in that it's going to be a one-for-one -one trade. He would have had to pull off something truly magnificent. Electronic here waiting for a pop flash. He's got it from Simple, and he's got Blame F, and he has a bit of information. Simple's going to have to rotate over towards Long No in support of Boomich. And he's hoping to pick off one on the cross. No jump down happening, but simple. It's gonna stick around. It's dangerous to stay here because you don't know if they jump down if you're about to basically be run down by someone with an AK-47. It's gonna be a quick bomb plant instead. And a four on four for the retake. Some good Molotovs there on Navi. If they can isolate them on the catwalk or even up here with poisons holding by the handout box, it could be interesting, but Navi is setting up rather slow retake. They do have the long control. Can they find a way to get in here? Simple's moving up as well. Here it comes. Molotov out towards Catwalk to prevent the repeat. Config swings out. He's dropped first. There goes Obo as well. And again, this late round situation for Complexity, it just does not work out. Rush maybe only needs one kill. That's important. He swings a little bit more. Flamey takes the shot. If he can get this, he's done it. Simple finds him around the smoke. And Flamey's just barely got the defuse. 15 HP away from a heroic effort of Rush. Yeah, wow, even with the uh, with the smoke and everything, it, he was actually running out of time then. That is a very, very close retake for a fifth round on the Na'Vi side. But with the bomb plant and with the round loss bonus, they're able to put together a buy here complexity, which now it's starting to get critical. If they let go of this one, they could, they could see Na'Vi end at seven rounds, which I think Na'Vi would be pretty happy about, given how this all started out a first half of Dust 2. Again, four of them in upper dark where, you know, they've been trying to do that boost many, many times. So they're not going to do it this time. They're just going to try to see if they can rush it. 
Flamey behind the box with the AWP. He'll pick up one kill. It's friendly flashbang. And wow, what a great defense between him and Perfecto. They just said an absolute blockade up. No one could enter. Yeah, I mean, this Navi defense really flipped the switch at some point. Five rounds straight for Navi. And in those five rounds, they've, they've, they haven't really even had a close round just yet. I mean... Three of the rounds have had four players surviving for Navi. And remember, they got that double up on board right after their first round win during this stretch. That double up has been really painful for Complexity to try and break through. Either way, this was looking like a dominant half for Complexity, and Navi's pulled it right back. Playmith quick to the corner on long. A couple of friendly flashbangs to help him out. They suspect that he might be in there, but it's hard to swing to try and find a quick trade. Config for Boomich. Flamey not falling all the way back, but again into this car position where you're definitely vulnerable. If you miss the first shot and they get out and then start throwing grenades, it could be hard to escape from this position, although they're going to fall back. That's interesting. Might not be the wrong call. Look at the minimap at the moment. Three players for the Navi defense over on the A side of the map, and Flamey's pretty isolated at car. Thankfully, Simple's got his back, but it's Electronic's duty to rotate over to help Perfecto. He's doing that just now. Oboe with a bit of presence in middle. That's not going to hold people back for long. Now two players in the B bombsite, and you have that dreaded car bombsite crossfire ready to go. And 45 seconds, they really need some success. And it's not going to be the exact opposite. A grenade and then Perfecto with the spray down. Electronic hiding in the corner. And he's going to get straight shot down. He just needed to get that one kill. And that would have been the round immediately. Now it's a double off for the retake. That could get really awkward. Now they might be able to find another gun somewhere. But still, that's a bit odd. Simple just running Simple's in. mental. Yeah, what is he doing? He dropped his op in middle. He's, he's looking. He wants one of these AK-47s, but he didn't realize that they died in the tunnel. Now he's got... <laughs> what a crazy, crazy bastard. <laughs> he just put it all on the fact that he might find one of them. Now it's on Flamey, and he might just be thinking, like, what are you doing, bro? Why is that happening? Almost a kill. Pistols out. Could he get it through the box? It's so close. Flamey, this might be genius. Oh, what a clutch that is. And he's going to be on it right away with the kit. That's huge. Once he fires that AWP, he is exposed and out in the open. It was six rounds in a row for Navi to finish it eight to seven. So who, who comes into the second half feeling really good at the moment, Jason? <laughs> Navi, for sure. I mean, that, that has to surely reinvigorate them. And, and for complexity, I think the problem is losing those last six rounds. It feels like a long time since you've actually won a round. You had such a great start to this game. You had an eight to one lead. And to have that kind of a lead slip away, it feels, it feels like a loss in and of itself to a certain degree. So, I mean, again, just got to hope that you can get off to a good start. Someone is going to deliver in this pistol round to get some good, some good energy back into the complexity side. Electronic takes a bullet to the face right at the start. That's not bad. Nobody likes that. Makes you feel uh, like you're not even welcome. Down to eight health. So he's going to be... He's going to be taking some sort of... Uh, some sort of secondary role. Or you set him in first to just check for the, the other bullets. Use him like a bit of a decoy. Simple. Oh, that could have been a great shot for him. If he could have got that, they would have swung long. They might still try and do that, but it would have been so much more effective. Config oh. with an excellent headshot. He does get tagged up, but he'll just start to fall back. It's a 5 on 3 There'll be a bomb plant here, but it's still Glocks. They don't have a USP. The p 250 is down at long. That's a real big issue. And Electronic is the one flanking with 8 health. Well, you can leave. You can leave both low HP players there. Perfecto's got a decent angle, especially with his teammate in the site, who backs off and leaves him high and dry. Flamey with a double kill. Now Electronic can get involved, but yeah, no HP left. Flamey's gone down. That's an impossible fight to win. The bombs aren't even planted for him if he was to take it. So, Diffuse comes in for complexity, and they're off and running again. Yeah, that's very, very helpful. And again, just the early damage, meaning there was not much that Electronic could have done in the end. This is a very important kill. I actually think if Simple gets that one, even if he gets traded by Config, Config's probably just going to get shot in the back almost immediately. So, good round. Now, because of the bomb plant, we're going to have AKs real quick, and they're actually going to have some pretty good weapons on the complexity side. 
to fight against the AKs. Perfecto leading the way out, and there's a spray at the corner. Complexity doesn't have this. Molotov is out. One's already crossed the vision. Simple is going to get involved here. He needs that kill, and he's got it. Good spray control, but his teammate's gone down, and now he might want to back away. Electronic is already up catwalk. This is huge. Complexity's not going to expect this. They're not going to expect it whatsoever. The closer Electronic gets, the worse it's going to be. And Config might go down for free. There it is. He falls. Rifle on the ground. It cannot be recovered. But Blamef can't take this fight. Not with the UMP. And the bomb site is lost. Man, they already don't expect it, but when they actually turn the corner, what they see is Boomich, who's by that first corner of the catwalk. So now they're 100% sure that that's the most forward player. I think if 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 it had just been uh, electronic out there, it could have been such a different scenario. Maybe they actually checked the bomb side, but they just didn't. Simple walking up behind should be a free kill on Obu, and it will be Boomich also helping out and running away is Blame if only barely making it around the corner. What a what an uppercut here in the second round after losing the pistol. This is uh, now he's saying, yeah, you're not gonna have as much of a good start here in the second half as you did on the first. Man, they complexity took so long at that corner fight that they never sent anyone back. Part of that is the is the result of simple winning that battle at corner, that initial one that gets him the opening kill. That's that's that takes manpower away from the player who's supposed to fall back earlier to come look at catwalk. Complexity essentially was just playing poker, was just kind of bluffing the fact that they would have defense at catwalk, and electronic calls it and gets a great angle. It's a great push towards the A-bomb site, and in a round like that, like, you won't, you won't usually see that in a gun round, but when you have deagles and just two AK-47s, it's worth taking that risk. So what a, what a great play from Heroic off the back of, uh, or Electronic off the back of Simple's kill. Well, there's a scout in play and a FAMAS on Blame F and a couple of deagles, so Complexity could, they could find a way to answer back in this round and do some damage. Good timing. Here's the Molotov being thrown early on and will go straight for it. That's a that's a sneaky kill from Config. That yeah, really is. We'll see if they can actually capitalize on the opening pick. Navi not really doing a whole lot. They're pretty content just to have mid control for the moment. Some utility being placed out towards catwalk. No aggression there. It's Obo and Poison to defend that B bomb site. A Deagle and a Scout. And for the moment, Navi just want to apply some pressure on Catwalk, and they're keeping three defenders locked into this site. Forty seconds. Don't want to be too alarmist, but it is a round where the clock is running low, and we're watching Navi on the T side. You never know what might happen. Russian configure holding out on long and. That could be enough to stop them even with the pistols here. Good damage. Config, though, he can't escape from this corner, and he can't get a chance to reload. Blamef, though, has taken another kill on Boomich up at the catwalk. 17 seconds now. They've got to run even on low health in a 2 on 3 This is actually looking really good for Complexity to bring it right back, even after losing the second round. There's Blamef with one, and he'll follow it up and close it out with a triple. What a nice hold from Complexity. What a nice round from Blame F. That is that is huge to get back on their feet after losing round number two. It was just too costly the whole way through for Navi. Every time they went somewhere, players were able to slow them down, deal damage, and get a kill, and Rush is all hyped up. So, 10-8, to two-round lead, and this time Navi not going to invest in the round. Deagle's being picked up late. No utility, no AK-47. It's nothing of the sort. So we'll see what they can provide. Why have they left the bomb? Just no faith that it's actually going to work, do they? They've already, uh, they've already lost. Like, let's go B, but don't bring the bomb. It's not, we're not going to actually going to make anything happen. But let's just go there. Maybe they're trying to send a message. Like, we don't need the bomb. Well, that would be very cool if they ran B and killed everyone and, and never planted. That would be, a, that would be a message. I appreciate that. <laughs> Suddenly searching for the kills out middle. Simple was hanging out for a while. But in the end, he is going to get shot down too. So this is uh, almost certainly going to be 11-8. 
Yeah, I mean, those are the only plays that, that complexity can make is things like simple just kind of sliding out and trying to find a duel in an angle. With no utility, you don't have anyone to, to set up any kind of an attack by your teammates, so it's just hope you find that one dig. Now back to the long cave as well. Flamey and Perfecto. P250 jumps out. It goes down. That at least gives Flamey the information of where Rush is playing, but no chance for him. Three round lead for complexity, 11 to 8, trying to force us onto a third map. Yeah, this really has turned out pretty well. From getting badly beat up on Nuke to suffering a, uh, a six round in a row loss in that second half, I mean, that's something that might take away uh, just a little bit of your spirits, but not right now. Complexity seemed to be a little bit stronger than that. And that's probably good news. Simple's got the ult. Spotting in middle, but not seeing anyone. And there's a scout still in play on Poison. Not quite upgraded to the orb level yet. A three-round gap. This is, this is really anybody's game at this point in time. See how long before Na'Vi figure out what works on this T side. Oh, they better find something soon. Complexity is uh, getting close. Five rounds away. That can disappear very quick. Electronic has no vision around that smoke, but equally, Config will never expect him to be here. Oh, this is a crazy position for Electronic to be in. He's gathering so much information. Here's the tags. Here's him falling back to the B bomb site, and he just gets to sit patiently. Still about a minute left. Mid is potentially a little bit weakly defended. Flame F, I think, could easily get smoked off, even with the AK-47. It's hard for him to go for too much spray through. That might be a very well-timed smoke, in fact. Lands right on top of Symbol. Oh, but Electronic is already in front of it. Blame F, he's checking for it. He's got the right idea, but that flashbang, the timing is godlike, and it'll take down Blame F. He stood no chance. Yeah, and now look at the utility. It, it, it applies pressure to middle. The B defenders say tucked into the B bomb site. Back to A we go. You got Poison with just a scout towards long. He has not upgraded that weapon yet. Can't get the AWP. Run oh boost God. to initially start the attack. It's a brilliant grenade, but is it going to be enough? There's the tag, there's the kill, and another one for Poison off of the grenade damage. Towards long, and he's boxed in. Back to the A bomb site, and this is spectacular. He eventually goes down, but he's done the damage, and Simple never looks left. That is the round for complexity. That HE. What a great performance with the scout. That HE turned the scout into an AWP. That's, that's all they needed. Yeah. Wow. Every shot is a one shot just because of that. I mean, some great kills coming out as well, PF. That's the movement speed on that scout. That is a round that Navi wins nine out of ten times. Man, I, that's 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 wild. What great shooting from Poison. And now he's got the op. Now he doesn't need the HE grenade to bust something like that out. 12 to 8. Navi on the back foot. And this time, you're not getting that incredible sky-high performance out of Simple. You're not getting four or five clutches won by him alone. You're also not getting Electronic, who I believe is at 17 kills for the two maps in the series so far. No, there are a lot of things missing, and, and, and we're actually seeing, you know, close rounds that are being won by Complexity, which wasn't even a thing on, on Nuke either. They lost all of the clutches. So a lot of things have uh, turned for the better. That explains the four-round lead. And also, the slowly but steadily growing economy here off the complexity side, which will continue to help them out for, uh, quite a bit. Some deagles in play, but yeah, this, I don't know. Navi, you, you, you feel like after that six-round run at the end of the first half, they'd be, they'd be way more fired up and way more uh, aggressive maybe, but I haven't really seen that yet uh, in this round. They've sort of been poking for kills, and then when they've been losing those fights, they don't seem to do a lot. I feel like we've just seen them a lot of rounds with, with a lot of deagles. <laughs> it feels like they've had to... They've been in such a weird money situation. Oh. That other nade, it's going to be a little bit late. If he throws it properly, it's going to get kills, but again... Poison's already warmed up, boys. You went at him last round with the scout. He knows the angle. He's going to pick two off, and Blame F has no issue with the final three. 
I would just like to see something a bit quicker, maybe. All right, Anders. Well, I mean, know your know your audience here. We're, we're it's Navi on the T side. Yeah, I guess. Listen, you're lucky they haven't timed out in three rounds so far in this half. I should just settle for that. <laughs> yeah. Don't get greedy. Here you go. Fast paced out long. Let's see how this works. Obo needs to find that kill. Boomage is fighting in the flames. Eventually burns. And Rush has the follow up kill. And this is just entirely shut down for Navi. Oh, well, that is a play. Now, he obviously doesn't have the Holy bomb hell. with him, but he's actually got the B bomb side on his own. Could be real interesting now. And there's there were four players on the other side of the map for complexity. So they're all they have to all be cautious in how they rotate, fearing a lurker in middle. But of course it's simple to open this round up for Navi. And Perfecto's listening. If he could catch Blameth, they all have to respect that a little bit. He's gonna be walking out. Does get the first shot there, Perfecto, and he's back around the corner. And they can't hunt him, and they can't go into T-spawn to fight him. They have to worry about this bomb site. Suddenly it's a three-on-three. Three. And simple, one single kill to turn the entire round in the favor of Navi. That is really spectacular. Now they need to follow through. He tries to do it there, but a great retake Ooh. comes in. And Perfecto's in the middle, and he can't get there in time. It's just not going to be possible. Well handled by Complexity. A quad kill on Rush will seal the deal. Yeah, and uh, I mean, the Perfecto did everything he could in mid to delay that to find the one kill on the Blame F, but with so many bodies coming at him, I think he made the, the right call and backing off. Unfortunately, simple after that spectacular kill, him and Electronic could not hold off this retake at all. Good shooting from Rusher, excuse me, him and Flamey couldn't do anything at all to hold that off. So, 14 to 8, and that's what we just discussed. If Complexity want to take this map, they have to win some of those post-plant scenarios, some of those clutch scenarios over Navi, and they do just that in round 22. Oh no, out on long again, and a very similar result. They, well, only worse, in fact. At least last time was only the double kill out there. Simple beats out Config on that shot and takes him down afterwards, but this is still we're not really looking winnable, is it? Two on four. They're going to be quick out the middle, trying to go for that B-bomb side again. They take a fair bit of damage, trying to cross even with the smoke up. And Blamef is hiding all the way in the back of the bomb side, waiting for them to come. Blamef's never going to clear it. Has to take a risk somewhere. Oh, no. Not off of that. Simple. Spots one going to under... Oh, to lower dark. Poison never saw him coming. Good kill from Simple. This is going to be a win, and Blamef has got to be punching his desk already. Yeah, it's a shame Flamey could actually go and pick up the grenades that Blamef had. He had a, a couple of grenades up there. Simple coming through, and he'll go down. That's a smoke put up, and he just decided to try and see if he could beat the timing. It will be another retake. Another round being won here by Complexity. 15 to 8, but that was, that was much too close, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. But this is this is cool look at complexity at the moment because one thing they've done well on both sides of this map is control long A. They've only had really one issue defending long A. That was in the second round in which they lost. Other than that, they've been spectacular. On the T side, their success out long A, the ability to take that away from Navi was what propelled them to having such a great start. Eight rounds on their T side of Dust2. And now you add in the fact that they're able to actually complete these retakes, win some of these clutches down the stretch of this half. And I mean, this is, this is the recipe for a map to win for complexity. Double up setup on Config and Poison. And Config with a timing around the flashbang misses an opportunity. Well, it's not quite Juggernaut level yet, but it's looking much, much better. Aggressive a take, uh, take there at the uh, catwalk, trying to see if he can maybe go and fight them, but Blamef will still go down. Don't know if that quite did enough. They were actually chugged in, essentially playing off the flashbangs. That's a pretty good kill. Drops the bomb down middle. That's oh, it's awkward. the bomb. Yeah. That's, that actually makes that kill amazing. Look at how much it's delayed this. And look how much it sets up config with the AWP, which they know is in middle, which is why Electronic has to be so cautious, and he's caught by a nade. Boomage. Finally gonna go and pick it up. Did uh, cost them a bit of time. They're really far spread out for being three people alive, one long, one mid, one upper dark. I. I mean, eventually, surely, some of these people are going to have to group up. Not going to be flamey, though. He's dead on the ground. But the other two will have to group up. 
Yeah, he just he took a real hard shot to the side. Of the nice kill from Boomich. 30 seconds. Now they've hit this B bomb side late and they've been able to take it a couple times, but they've never been able to hold it after the fact. So here we go. Config with the off has a chance to hold them off entirely. Another missed shot. And now they swing wide. And now a Molotov into his position is no fun. Whoa. He's going to burn, but not before he takes Boomich with him. Spiteful inside of the flames. And Poison will get the last one. It's 